Hey guys, it's Trey, and today's video is another natural hair horror story. You guys love these, of course. So I'm back bringing you another crazy horror story. Now you guys know how these things go. You guys email me natural hair horror stories and I share them and share my opinion. And I allow you guys to share your thoughts down in the comments below. So, <laughs> I don't even want to say, as you guys know, this is another crazy one because... We knew that these horror stories are always crazy, so it's no need to even mention it again. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So the email reads, Hi Treya, I'd like to share my natural hair horror story. Love your videos by the way. I am 20 years old. I was natural up until 10 or 11. Relaxer damage through my teens caused me to do the big chop and go natural in January 2016. My hair has been growing and it is healthy, however my crown area always breaks. One day I decided I wanted to do braids but my hairdresser of 5 to 6 years wasn't available so she suggested her friend. <sighs> okay, so based on past horror stories, I feel like I know where this is going um, but I'm going to keep reading anyway. Um, her friend lived locally, so I was happy. I was going to my hairdresser's friend's salon regularly. However, her braiding was always too tight. Okay. But I would always ignore it and have painkillers. Are you... I, I'm convinced y'all are starting to go to the same hairdresser. Y'all... Y'all need to let me know where y'all are from because I'm convinced... You guys are going to the same hairdresser. You guys have the same experience. Your hairdresser's gone, so they always recommend someone else in the salon. You go to them saying, hey, I think it'll be okay. They always braid tight, and the story goes on and on. I'm convinced. I'm convinced y'all are going to the same hairdresser. Um, two weeks ago, I went to her salon to do Ghana braids. Firstly, when I arrived, she made me wait for some time, even though I came a couple minutes later than she said, and she rushed my hair because she had another customer. To make matters worse, she didn't moisturize my hair properly. She just kept on complaining about my hair breakage in my crown area. Okay, a day goes by and I can't sleep with my hair. And then a week goes by and I feel a burning sensation in my nape area. However, I ignored it. Then one day it started to get very itchy and then I asked my boyfriend to look and he gasped and he took a picture. It turned out I had bald patches in my nape area and red bumps. I sent the pictures to my mom who had recently had to take out a tight hairstyle that the hairdresser did and she wasn't impressed. I quickly loosened the plaits and redid it but it just wasn't the same. I sent the hairdresser pictures of my hair. At first she started to put the blame on me. However, after a long conversation and me informing her that I was unable to sleep, she said that she would redo the hair for me when I came back to her hair salon. I was in college, university at the time, so I came home for the weekend just so she could do my hair. I called her to tell her I had arrived and she said I should come for Saturday afternoon. She wasn't specific on the time, which made me skeptical. Anyway, on Saturday, I called her at 12. She said I should come between 2 and 3. I called her at 2. She said come around 3 and 4. I called again at 3. And she said she still had three other customers, so I told her to forget about it. She also said that she can only treat my hair and not braid it because my hair can't be braided. I've already treated my hair and my nape area is fine. I have an appointment again with her next week. However, I really see no point in going there. My mom still insists that she should do my hair again for free, but I don't trust her. I wouldn't either. Um, she apologized and said she felt bad, but at the same time, she said she had been a hairdresser for 25 years and this hasn't happened. However, she did slip that it hasn't been this extreme that customers have gotten red bumps before. For now, I am going to treat my hair myself. Let me not forget to mention that she doesn't know too much about my natural hair, so I don't want her to treat or ruin my hair. I've inserted pictures of my hair. I would love some tips for dealing with breakage in my crown area. Congratulations on your pregnancy, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you for reading my story. Love from Jess. All right, y'all. So we need to help Jess out because she has an appointment next week and she's skeptical about going. I personally think she needs to just cancel that appointment, not go. I mean, she said that she would redo your hair, but it's not worth it. I feel like I stressed this in my last natural hair horror story video. It's not worth it. She can damage your hair even more. It's 
it's definitely not worth it at all plus she said that she can't braid it so if she's going to try to treat or style your hair in another way I'm not sure that you really want her to do that because you said that she doesn't know too much about natural hair so to trust her with your natural hair and just treatment and doing it I don't think that's personally a good idea um I, I don't think that's a good idea at all so I definitely don't think that you should go back I think that you guys should just um, chalk it up as a loss you know because we heard stories where people go back to the same salon and they ruin it and ruin it and it's like why like I don't I see no point in that at all unless you want to take a chance with their hair um you already suffered from the damage that she done already so I wouldn't even let her have a second chance to do it again like no 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 so yeah you had breakage in the crown area of your head and you still decided to get the Ghana braids I'm not sure if that was the best decision you already knew the um health of your hair the state of your hair and those braids could and did put tension on that uh weaker spot of your hair so um when you guys are trying to get protective styles, I did make a whole video sharing um, styles you should not do in your natural hair. If you guys are considering doing protective styles, you definitely need to make sure that your hair is already in a good state. Because the style may look nice on the outside, but the health of your hair is what's really important. And the protective style should be protecting your natural hair. But instead, it's actually causing more damage if your hair is already damaged. But... Anyway, anyway, the stylist complained about it, but she didn't tell you that, like, she didn't recommend a different style. Like, she didn't recommend a different hairstyle choice. Um, and you already didn't know that hairdresser because yours was out of town. So you had to actually put your trust in someone else. So, yeah, you didn't even know if she was going to braid your hair tight, but, you know, that's besides the point. For me personally, I'm not really even feeling this hairstylist because initially when you did go to her salon, she made you wait for some time even though you came ahead of somebody. I don't know if that was their appointment time and they were just running a few minutes late, but whatever. She ended up making you wait and then she rushed your hair while she, you know, while she was styling it. She was rushing. So, already that's like a red flag. And then when you actually told her what had happened to your hair, she tries to put the blame on you. And it's like, what? I didn't do the style on myself. Like, what Like, what could she even say to make it seem like that was your fault? I'm not understanding. So, that happened. Then you guys had a long conversation and she um, eventually said that she would redo the hairstyle. Um, yeah, and then you came home from college, which I know if you're commuting, that could be, um, a lot of traveling, and then the stylist says to come on Saturday, then she, she doesn't really give you a time, she says come at two, and then, three. like, it was, it's just too much, and I know the stylists get busy and overwhelmed, I get that, yes, 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 all well and good, however, I feel like at that moment, you kind of are priority and I don't want to say you're like priority over other paying customers no but um she knows the state of your hair so she should have been more accommodating if anything maybe like going out of her way to make sure that you are getting what you need from her like she like you eventually got fed up and was just like forget about it but I feel like her being a stylist that actually cares she should say you know what I'm sorry to have you um I'm sorry to play this time game with you. I'm sorry to have you waiting so long. Like, something to make you feel assured that she actually cares. Because right now, I'm feeling like she blamed it on you. Um, and then she's not, like, all of these different time changes. And it's just like, do you even really care about me at all? Um, so anyway, you have another appointment. She'll do it for free. But I would just, I would just run the other way take care of your hair and just stay away from her because the customer service isn't there the quality of service isn't there um she doesn't really know how to take care of natural hair so i don't even know why you're even going there because just because hairstylists can do hair 
That doesn't mean they specialize in natural hair. Man, some natural hairstylists don't even specialize in natural hair. But that's a whole nother story. Anyway, um, yeah, let me look at the pictures. So the pictures, I see it, you have red spots, and it looks like, um, like bumps with like some pus in it. Not too sure. I know that, um, when I used to get braids and when people get braids that are extremely tight, you would start to get those little bumps right there. But, um, this doesn't look good at all. It, it doesn't look good at all. So, um, yeah, I would definitely work on trying to get the health of your hair in a better state before you get those types of styles that put a lot of strain on your hair because I'm not sure if your hair really needs that right now. So definitely um, watch that other video that I did. So definitely watch that other video that I've done so that you can get some other ideas on styles that um, you can do on your natural hair that won't be as damaging. Anyway, you did ask for some tips for dealing with breakage in your crown area. My main tip for dealing with breakage is to not do styles that cause that strain and tension on your hair. That is my main thing. That's what I advocate about. So you definitely want to lean more towards styles that aren't going to put that stress on your hair. But definitely, definitely, I urge you to watch that video because I did give some good styles that you can try instead of doing those um, braided styles and things like that. So definitely, oh good. So definitely check that video out. Um, I also always recommend Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Wild Growth Hair Oil. Um, those two um, products are really good, but definitely you want to stay away from those harsh styles. So, yeah, try that out and let me know how it works for you. And make sure you take those braids out. Just, just take the braids out. Let's probably start there. Take the braids out and then do the other things. And cancel that appointment. Don't go. Okay? You can show your mom this video. Hi, mom. Don't let her go back, okay? Let, let, mom, you and mom can watch some of my natural hair horror stories and you can see where these types of things lead to, okay? Because I don't want mom coming at me. I know that's money that you spend on the hair. I know, mom, okay? I know. I'm a mom, too. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for sending me this horror story, Jess. Thank you so much. And make sure that if you guys have a natural hair horror story to email it to me. My email is down below and I will feature it in an upcoming natural hair horror story. You guys love these things. They just get crazier. And I'm just the messenger. Okay? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything, you can leave them below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.